For me, abstraction is just a different way to describe the world around us. It can circumvent language, dissolve narrative. It can delay meaning. Those rational associations with what we're looking at just fall away. It can send us into a transitory state, like an active meditation, activating that pre-language part of our subconscious. We speak at about 125 words per minute and think cognitively at around 12 to 1400 words per minute. So just imagine the heightened level our subconscious functions at while we're experiencing things our intellects can't quite define. There is something about understanding form in its most basic components in order to highlight or distort it. We see those elements in the architecture all around us as if everything in existence is made up of a curve, an angle, and a straight line. Using the term architecture in its broadest definition, we find it in our script, in our ancient musical symbols, the elemental forms of the earliest known religious symbols, in the elegant grammar of our languages, and in the energetic structures of the human body, even in the architecture of our psyche, whatever that must look like. Architecture of the organic world, that gravity-defying strength found in nature, made up of minute geometrical structures. And when we zoom into that geometry at the microscopic level, we find the same elemental shapes as when we pan out into the natural world. And again, into the wider universe. For someone like me with a linguistic background, I call this the grammar of form. I think of abstract art less as part of a modernist art movement and more as a perennial language, less as a departure from reality than acceptance of the reality that lies unseen. There is a saying, that which is seen is temporary and that which is unseen is eternal. Coming from such a political and socially active background, I think those aspects do find their way into my work. If not for the fact that I've found this language that doesn't discriminate, that isn't problematic and loathsome. My hope really is that this universal language speaks to some aspect of our common humanity. <laughs>